two random bears. Two random, two random, two random bears. Two random, two random, two random bears. Cheers, matey. Welcome. Two random beers here. What we have for you? This is an absolute treat. We have the Golden Pilsner from the Yingling Brewing Company. Yingling in the house. Yes, this is their first um, uh, show on the show. Uh, of course, Yingling has plenty of other beers as well as their original lager. Um, they also have the black and tan. But right now, they also have a Yingling light. Uh, but right now, today, we're going to go for the Golden Pilsner. It's a 4.7 on the on the ABV. 4.7. Refreshing um, and smooth beer. Mm -hmm. The Golden Pilsner. Go ahead and give it a gander here. Let's let's see what happens when you're given the most important pour. And I'm gonna tell you a little something about the the Pilsner. Uh, it's a highly sessionable beer. It's an interpretation of an outstanding modern Pilsner, born from six generations of brewing expertise. Golden in both name and color, Yingling Golden Pilsner is a perfect balance of hop, malt character for crisp and smooth, thirst crushing, thirst quenching refreshment. This is the Golden Pilsner from Yingling, PA Pottsville, the oldest brewers brewing company in the great United States of America. It is smooth, you can see right through it. Little light foam up top, light head, um, slight uh, viscosity there, but it is bubbling and foaming. It looks beautiful. Stays true to its name. It's very golden for sure. Look at that. A bit of a nice pilsner. Let's, Let's see how we do it from Yingling. Six generations of brewing. Six generations. This is amazing. Let's give it a little small here. It smells like beer. Like beer, beer. Good beer. Like not like bad beer, but yeah. it's good beer. Get, like, get, I get the wheat in there. Mm -hmm. It smells like a good beer. It smells. You, you smell good, the wheat in there. Good looking beer. It, it smells like how a beer should smell like. Yeah, it smells fresh. It smells uh, refreshing, like clean. Clean, fresh beer. Well, you know, let's uh, give it a gander here. It's Yingling. a golden pilsner. Golden pilsner. Thank you, Yulin. Four point seven. Very bright, mm -hmm. right here, but. Let's, uh, let's give it a wax. Let's give it a go. Cheers. That's smooth. That's smooth. Crisp. Thirst quenching. It's very refreshing. A little bit aftertaste, but the taste is wheat filled. Yes. Very carbonated. Get a nice, uh, Fizzy. Yeah, fizziness. Fizziness. There's a lot of busyness going on in there. Kind of bumps <clears throat> off the palate. Mm. Mm. It's, it's kind of light and light tasting as well. It goes it down. It goes down very smooth. It goes down very smooth. Um, this is close to a every you know an everyday beer for me. Yeah, it falls in that category. Mm. There's nothing special about it. No, it's, uh, nothing special about it. It is just a beer. Yeah, like it's just a beer. Yeah, this is not, um, uh, this isn't a beer that I would seek out for, like, it's, for it standing out. This is mm -hmm. just, like, it doesn't stand out. Your common beer. And I, but I think that's what <clears throat> is so lovable about the beer is that it just, it just fits in. Yeah. You know, it just fits in. It's just a beer beer. Mm. Um, it and does the, the job. And I will say, there is something golden about it. Right? You do get that golden vibe. Like, looking at it, it's golden. Yeah. Even tasting it going down, it's kind of golden. The gold, gold plated, mm -hmm. gold carrot in here. There's something golden about this beer. It's nothing special, it's nothing like crazy. No. But there is something golden about it. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best Pilsner I've ever had, but it, it, it's up there. It's, it's a pretty, pretty solid. Um, we won't. First of all, would you get this again? Um,. I don't think so, to be honest. Mm. I don't know. It's uh, I wouldn't go out of my way for it. You know, it's a good, mm. it's a good common beer. You know, if I was pairing it with maybe just like a regular burger with fries or something, just have a good beer to wash it down. Didn't care 
what, what it was. It's just something it. to get down. It yeah. just won't be it's The beer yeah. flavor is it mixes well with that type of stuff, and uh, this mm-hmm. uh, this would be good for that. Where I didn't even care what the name was. I'll no, just I just need a, a decent beer yeah. to wash down what I'm here with. That's how far I would take this. Yeah, mm. it's not like I wouldn't go out of my way for it. Uh, I w- totally understand that. Totally, one hundred percent respect and understand that. I see where you could say where. You know, this is a beer that does not stand out. No. It's not a beer that you say, oh, it has that flavor. That's like, oh, what the hell is that? Um, not not absolutely. But I see it as a good sixth man on the bench. For sure. This is a good sixth man. Um, it, it, it's not one of your star players. No. It's, it's not someone who's going to come out there and make the all-star team. Plenty of beers that I would go for. I do feel it. What it is good with, it's it's redrinkability. This is something that I could once I get started on one. It's probably something I'm not gonna get sick of. Yeah, you know, like he could start the party and keep it going for a long time. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like he'll make everybody happy. <laughs> but if you're seeking seeking something specific, no, no, no. Uh, um, <clears throat> but I, you know, I would get this again just because of that. Uh, so, and this is uh, uh, everybody beer. Like, I wouldn't drink it again, but I wouldn't go out and just get it. Like, like, like if I was in a situation where it's like I'm getting a, bu- <laughs> a, a beer for in, like a party or something like that, or for a bunch of people, yeah. and I want to get something that I'm gonna like, but I know other people are might fall into, I'll get it. Um, good keg beer. Yeah, good keg beer. Good quick beer. Yeah. Um, this is probably a good. Probably would be a good draft beer. If England goes out there and wants to put this on draft, that would probably be really good in the bar seat. Could be something. Um, yeah, it's not not crazy. Uh, five mug score. I would probably give it a. I'm gonna give it a. Ooh, here we go. This is the test of time. Um, if I could do a seven point, I mean, I mean a two point seven five, I would go there. Uh, it's leaning towards a three or a two point five. Uh, I'm going to give it a 2.5 here, which is not a bad beer. It's just an average beer, Yeah. but I wouldn't mind drinking it again. How about you? Uh, I'd give this a 2. Mm. Uh, there's nothing crazy about it. It's just that it's a plain average beer. You know, there's nothing. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not the, the worst I've ever had. I would choose these over a lot of those other, you know, the big name guys, but... Yeah, it, it's not, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't do much for me. You know, take light or fire, you know, it's not something that's going to... But I, it does have, a, it plays a position. It definitely plays a position. Yeah. Like you said, like that six man. Good six man. A is, solid guy off the bench. There's a, 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 you know, a use for everything and everybody mm-hmm. has their place. Everybody plays their part. You get in where you fit in. And you, Yingling, Golden Pilsner, you sure do. You, yes, you are the little guy. You are the working man. You are the strength and the character of America. And with that, you play your part and you play your position. You play it well. And yes, even sir. it still gets a thumbs up from me. Uh, definitely go and try it. Yes, sir. Um, and, you know, we'll be back. Try way more bears if you like to see us. Check out our other videos and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you. We love to try all these random bears for oh. you. And y'all have a good two random y'all. Here we are, back again. Two random beers. Two random beers. Once again, my friend. We're here with a little bit of trick and treating for you uh, goblins. What is this? The Evil Genius Trick or Treat Chocolate Pumpkin Porter from the Evil Genius Bear Evil Company. Genius. This is so a, wait, wait, wait. Did you say it was a, a porter? A chocolate pumpkin porter. Wait, so not only pumpkin. No. But chocolate pumpkin that is a porter at the same time? Yes. Uh, um, this has a, a, a lot of uh, insight of what this beer could be. Now, if this beer is, is executed properly, this could be one of the best beers. Yeah, 
you know, I like chocolate, I like pumpkin, those are always really good flavors. I never heard of chocolate pumpkin. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's take a gander here. It's a 7 8% uh, brew of volume here. Now, now 7.8% 7, 7 does pack a punch on the alcoholic scale. Popped it open, yes. heard Chris uh, clap when he popped it with the smooth pour tipped at so slightly on the angle, releasing a dark, very, very dark, roasty, roasty uh, brew, slight sparkling head at the same time, which is, it looks like the porter, but yet there's something more going on there. Let's take a look, take a look at that. It's very dark, very deep, dark, rich. Like the color of this is your mug, my brother. Oh yes, it's yes, yeah, absolutely, sir. Right. Check it out, guys. Check it out, guys. It looks amazing. The trick or treat chocolate pumpkin porter. Mm -hmm. Try in uh, or treat. Well, just smell it. Let's yeah. give it a whip. Mm. Smells good. Mm. I like it. Mm. it smells uh, robust. And I and, and I do get the pumpkin going on there. Yeah. There's there's some pumpkin going on there too. It smells uh, seasonal. It mm. smells very. Uh, Festive. Uh, let, let's let's go. Well, 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 cheers up. Two random beers. Let's go. That's thirst quenching right there. It is sharp. Yeah. Very sharp. I got, I got to get another go. It doesn't go down heavy. It goes down rather smooth. I get a nice, nice of so that, that pumpkin aftertaste, but you get a first hit with some chocolate. Yes. The chocolate notes, chocolate notes mixed with the pumpkin aftertaste has a nice blend. Yet, it is a 7.8. And I will say there is some punch to this. Yeah. There is some punch to this and it's not. Mm. Got a kick to it for sure. Mm -hmm. I like it. This is really good. Uh, I believe we've tried the Evil Genius before. Um, once upon a time, if you go look back, we were two random beers. But uh, I can't remember if we gave the company a good, a good uh, rating or not. But oh yes, one. yes. Um, I like this beer. I would have it again. Yes, yes. I'd give it. Like the four mugs overall, because I feel like it could be a little more flavor, mm. but it has good flavor as well. Good aftertaste. So my score is actually going to be based on a different way, as the same way as you, which is crazy, because the after aftertaste it's not. Um, I'm getting uh, like like a, an after bite to it for me. In my in for a porter, I was looking for something a little more deeper. Um, that aftertaste is a little um, I don't know. It, it doesn't fit my palate, but it is very sharp. It's rich. It's a smooth tasting beer. Mm. Um, it does have great flavor to it too. It does have a great flavor. Uh, initially when you drink, but uh, there is an aftertaste factor that uh, doesn't compliment uh, me well, but it could compliment you well. Uh, just so, so definitely it's a well-made beer, but I'm actually gonna go for a, uh, a three. I'll give it a three mug. It's it, respectable, it's smoother, but it's not something I would go for. It's smoother than any porters I've ever had before. Mm. It is a well-made beer. Yeah, very well-made beer. And it goes down smooth, rich is sharp. Uh, just have a little qualm with the aftertaste, but who knows, I could after a couple could just, you know, might get used to it, but uh, successful beer, I would definitely say to try it again. Yeah, you know, any beer is worth a try out here. Mm -hmm. Two random beers. Evil Genius from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia. They have very silly names for very serious beers. So, what is it? Very silly names for trick or treat. 
Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. The very serious with the beer with rose. Smell my feet. Yeah, it is. Yo, wow, it's like already coming up. Devil's really? Hollows Night or something, yeah, as they say. And they bring out kids. these beers. <laughs> you know this during Hand like these is, you know this during like um Halloween and all the uh fall. Like they bring out these type of beers a lot, and they always have like pumpkin in it, yeah. or they have like seasons in it. <laughs> so like. I, I've noticed that. that it, it's a good reminder of what time of the year it is, you too, you know, because sometimes I forget what day it is. <laughs> yeah, okay, understandable. <laughs> Under, very understandable. Yeah. Wow. So is, is did they even create beer as like a way of telling time? Mm. Maybe beer created or, time. Or to quick. Ah, ha! Huh? I think <laughs> you might be onto something. I think you might be onto something. Was time initiated by beer yeah maybe the calendar beer created the calendar <laughs> that's why we do what we do that is why we uh we are two random beers such Good an amazing you. beer thank you everybody yes. for tuning in evil genius evil uh genius. trick or treat Good beer, great beer Try here. Try it out, you know, chocolate pumpkin Absolutely. porter. I was expecting a, 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 like a deeper taste as well. Like more yeah, as a porter. Flavor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, but, you know, it's worth a try. Every beer is worth a try. We're here to try every beer. Yeah, we got an everyday player right here. We got an everyday player. Thank I'm you, good. everybody. Stay tuned and we'll be back real soon with more beers.